we are, are allowing the real biobanking for organs. That means no more organ shortage, no more wait time, and more lives will be saved. Imagine one day if you have a heart disease and or you have a cancer, you can just walk into a biobank. We can transplant kidney and liver, heart, and even penis. So U.S. government just, uh, U.S. just did the first penis transplant and allow a soldier to get a new organ and the resulting baby. So that's revolutionary. Um, but, you know, preservation or banking technology is severely behind. That means, like, we have, like, a huge organ shortage currently. So if you have an organ failure in the U.S., you're, you're automatically put on the wait list which is really a death list, because currently wait list is about 10 times longer than a donor list, resulting in one patient per hour death rate. That's detrimental, and a lot of families have lost their loved one during this waiting process. Um, simply, it's not because we don't have donors. Actually, in fact, one patient, if you want to donate your body, you can save eight lives. And there are so many people have this great heart and sign up for don donating their organs. However, because we don't have a way to really bank those organs, we, we cannot preserve them. So they end up with 80% of donated organs are wasted. Exterma focuses on developing a non-toxic, 10,000 times more effective anti-ice nanomaterial to aim for transform regenerative medicine by offering um, biobanks from sperm cells all the way to the organs. So that means we can create organ banks and save millions of lives. This special material actually focuses on provide the safe and effective preservation of sperm cells. You know, sperm cell as like a most promising regenerative medicine actually has been become a booming market. So that means like uh, as a precision medicine, you can apply the stem cell to a certain patients and allow them to grow uh, heart tissue and fix the injured tissues. So um, what we can provide actually is the way to preserve the stem cells, to allow a better logistics, means you, you have a way to deliver the drug from the donor to the recipient without worry about the time limits. Nature has a solution. You know, in the extreme cold, like Arctic Ocean, um, some species like fish and insects need to survive in the winter time without being frozen. So they develop a secret weapon called antifreeze protein. So this protein only be produced in the winter time with very small quantity, which allow those species to survive without forming ice. Um, so, in fact, they are like 10,000 times or 500 times, depends on the species, more effective than industry standard we use as ethylene glycol. Um, but they're not perfect because the purification process or production process is extremely difficult. So the cost is so high and so far in the world, we don't have a reliable commercial resource. So that is our big challenge. Uh, how are we going to make this amazing natural product to become more applicable for our purpose? So Exderma actually came up with a revolutionary um, solution for that. So we combine the beauty of nature and a power of nanotechnology together to create the first non-toxic, green, and cost-effective, uh, hyper-effective, um, nanomaterial to fight ice. So our material is just born like a protein, and we take the lesson from the uh, nature solution antifreeze protein, the design sequence, and we came up with the biomimetic polymers, which are born like the protein. Um, they have the similar function and the sequence defined. More importantly, actually, they are they, they are even better than protein. We are talking about this amazing natural product called antifreeze protein. We can find them from different species, some from fish or insects or even fungi. Um, they have different sequence, different size, and 
different shape, but they have some design um, similarities. So we take a look at this 20 years um, research and find what is the secret coding for this uh, um, protein. And uh, we use our powerful, powerful um, uh, peptidomimetic polymers to mimic them. So we take the design into our own design and we make a library of those material. And we screen, see which one works best for the ice. We are um, part of this big project called Organs on Demand. So uh, government's aiming to get organ banking available in 2020. So uh, we're the only chemical company in this team. And uh, um, actually, we are on the stage two funding process. So on this stage, we're first allowed um, bone marrow stem cells to be perfectly cryopreserved and thawed and um, provides the great efficacy. And then we're going to move to a large project working with Johns Hopkins top surgeons um, to transplant mouse heart. So that means we're going to take a mouse heart from the donor and cryopreserve this heart with our solution for weeks or maybe months and then thaw it and retransplant that into a new mouse and see that heart rebeat with the new recipient again. So that will be revolutionary and uh, uh, we're hoping to see that very soon.